Well, good evening, folks. On tonight's episode, we're going to do something crazy, off the wall, different. We're going to call it a glitter biscuit. So, uh, let's get started. We're going to be using uh, Createx Pearlized. And this is a pearl plum gloss black and it's an apple barrel paint and FX smooth satin neon yellow glitter so uh, what do y'all say we get this party started okay first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna mix us up some black we're gonna paint that whole lure black except for the belly and the belly's gonna be left white so let's uh let's jump in here and get this party started a little mixing going on this here black paint. And here in a minute I'll uh, infiltrate your minds with some more redneck wisdom. So y'all ready? Have y'all got your minds mentally prepared for this? Alright, here it goes. The thousand mile road always takes the first step, folks. See if we can turn this lure black. I'm almost betting we can. So what you folks all got planned for Labor Day weekend? It's coming up next week. I know what I'm gonna do. I'm off for five days in a row. So I will be in this shop. Going hard. I got lots of stuff to get done. I don't have any idea what the wife's got planned, but I know what I got planned. So, now, folks, this is not a challenge tonight. This is a regular paint or something that I woke up in the middle of the night and was in my head that I wanted to try. So let's just try it and see what it looks like when we're done. I'm almost betting y'all are gonna like it. I bet it'll be completely different than what y'all are used to seeing me do. That's cool. It's good to broaden your horizons and expand your mind and you know all that crazy stuff. So uh, we got our black on. Let's clean our brush out and uh, we'll get ready to go to our next color and let that dry for a minute. Well, y'all gonna think I'm nuts one time y'all see me finish this lure, but that's okay, because I fish it. I fish reticulate mud. I was up and out here by 4.30 this morning, working on in the shop, so I had some stuff to get out and get done, and my wife told me I better clean my shop. Kind of mean like that. And the next color we're going to be doing is going to be this FX green. It's a smooth satin. This was a birthday present last year from my child for me. So. I've used it quite a bit out here. I like it. It's a pretty neat color. Get it all mixed up while that's a drying good. Here's the drip test. Now for you that don't know, that's how I check when my paint's ready to go through my airbrush. If that paint flows evenly good down that finger, it's, it's ready. If airbrushable. Okay, for our next step, folks, we're gonna wrap this lure. Pull this 
wrap up good and tight. So we got her pulled up on there with a the wrap. So uh, let's jump in here with this pretty green paint and start whipping it out. My wife's sitting over there going, whip it good, whip it good. What? <laughs> She's been drinking the wine too. I guess it's better than drinking the Kool-Aid. Well, this is going to get several coats, and it's going to get heat set between coats, so. selected tonight is a jerk bait. It's four and three quarters inches long. It'll take number six hooks, rings. So that's what I selected for us tonight or the jerk bait. That's going to be prettier than banding beer through it. Well folks, it won't be long now till we'll be having our Halloween challenge. Me against the wife. That's going to be kind of fun. She keeps trying to change the rules on me though. Now, let's pull this netting off of here. And uh, tool, netting, I can call it what I want to. Before I get corrected, it's two. I say, okay, it's netting. So, so let's pull this off of here very carefully. And let's see what we got underneath here. Would you look at that? Ain't that peculiar? Ain't that peculiar? I can't say that word. Yeah, ain't that peculiar. Are we finished with that bait? I think not. That's pretty different. I like it. It's unique. It's different. It's uh, not something you've ever seen before, I bet. So the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to get the pearl plum out. 
Pearl, 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 don't you marry Earl. He won't let you sit on his lap meeting. Fix his hair with possum fat. Pearl, Pearl, Pearl. No. Did y'all hear that, folks? She's being mean to me again. I wish somebody would come take up for me. Now, I took her out to dinner. Friday night dinner, you know, date night. And everything, she's still being mean to me. Always shake your paint. Beep, 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 beep. Get a few drops in there. Just take and stick us a drop or two of thinner in there. Just to thin that out. Just a little bit. You're not supposed to have to thin this paint, but sometimes it don't like to blow through if it's not thin. Just a tiny bit. Just takes a drop. And I'll mix it right up here in my airbrush with my toothpick. So now what we're going to do folks is, uh, this thing's good and dry, we're going to just paint the top purple and just a little bit down the side of that base, just to get a little purple up on that head. I'm going to it around over here. Do the same over there. Now I'll heat set that right quick. Well, what y'all's thoughts so far? Well, that different? Or that redneck done and lost his mind? Which one is it? I know which one my wife is going to say, so... I think that's a pretty unique bait. Different from anything that anybody's ever painted, I'm sure. What do you folks think? I like it. I like it a lot. I'd fish it. So we're going to dump this little bit of purple back in here because we are done with that end of it. And this stuff is expensive. $6.99 for that little bitty thing of that purple paint. It's a good thing I got a good job. So folks, what kind of eyes would y'all like to put on here? Let's look through our eye drawer over here. And uh, dig through and see what we can find that we would like to put on here. That's just a few of them, folks. There's about a thousand more of them in here. So, what I was telling you, I got eyes for every occasion. How about gold and black? Y'all be, be choosing. So there's the gold eyes, there's this eye, I think them are the wrong side, I'll have to see if I got the smaller ones. Then we have silver, and we have a different red, we have this eye right here, it's kind of in umber and black. These won't fit it. These are for saltwater baits. That won't fit them. That won't fit them. <clears throat> Here's that same eye in a red and then a yellow in a red and a blue. This one? Yeah. It's the same as that one. It's not. She's arguing with me, folks. Is them eyes the same? That eye and that eye? Now she's giving me the finger. So, you like that one? That's what you'll get then. Let's throw some eyes on this crazy damn bait that my wife wanted me to paint. You gotta excuse me, folks. I gotta have my magnifier down here so I can see. Make sure these eyes are turned the right direction. 
it sucks to get old. That don't look bad at all. Quite a bit different of an eye there. but every once in a while I need that. These little dark spots in these eyes are hard, hard to see sometimes, especially when it's 10 o'clock at night. Not a whole lot of daylight in here. So there's our bait for tonight, folks. I think that looks cooler. Very cool, very unique, very different. I don't know what the boss lady thinks about it. She won't tell me. She just sits over and shakes her head like you done lost your mind, redneck. And she may be right, folks. Folks, we'll be using a 1cc of each. 1cc of the epoxy and 1cc of the hardener tonight. This bait looks bigger then one of the square bills but it's actually about the same area when you start brushing so we got about 1.1 in there sorry folks it's high eat beans tonight Very nice. Well, let's get our little brush over here and a little stir stick. Well, you know what I'll use this one I used earlier. It's dried right now. So, let's get us a little bit of this beautiful neon glitter in there. Get our hemostat. Now, folks, if you're new to my videos, uh, on my epoxy, I mix it to exact amounts, and I always, always mix it very, very well before use. And, uh, you know, it's like I've said before, optimal temperature is between 65 and 73, 74 degrees, 72 degrees, anywhere right in there, it, it really works well. But you get over that or under that, and it gets gummy, and it don't like to, to run good, so... Just a little FYI from an old redneck. Okay, we're already going to take this beautiful piece of art. Well, let's reach up here and get him by the nose. Okay, folks, uh, we've got this thing epoxied all the way around now. And it's just a bad habit, but a good habit, and I just keep going back over it to pull any excess off. I don't want a whole lot of excess on the bait to run down the drip hook. So I just go back over it. I may go back over it two or three times. Before I, I'm satisfied that it's ready to be hung. So. All right, folks, look at there. What do y'all think about that? That's a pretty awesome bait. I bet it's different than anything you've ever seen. 
So it's always a habit of mine is I go ahead and I clean these eye hooks out. And that one goes on there. And I hook it with this one right up here in the nose. Maybe I'll hook it. Just like that. And I hang it overnight to dry. If you mix your epoxy to your exact amount, it'll dry in half the time, folks. But uh, that's one reason I do it. And the other reason is it just works so much better to do it right than be done with it. So folks, I'm going to name this lure, we're going to call it the Glitter Biscuit. So, it's been a real pleasurable evening with you folks. And uh, as soon as this is dry, we'll hook it up and we'll get back with you. Okay folks, we're back, got this lure all dried up, looking pretty. So there it is folks. Don't know if you can see all that in there, but that is a good looking bait. Folks, I've already had to paint another one. I've already sold them. They're out of here. They're gone. So there's the old glitter biscuit right there. Uh, folks, remember to like, subscribe, and share my channel. And hit that notification bell down there in the corner. You know. And uh, y'all have a great Labor Day. And I'll catch you later.